2.3f, divide fractions. We divide fractions by multiplying by the reciprocal. So instead of having to learn a new method of how to divide a fraction, we simply use the multiplying fractions that we already have learned. Let's look at this in example one. In example one, we have 14 fifteenths divided by 35 sixths. First, we write the first fraction without changing it. Then, we take the divide and we are going to turn it into multiply. And lastly, we multiply by the reciprocal of that second number. So this would mean we would multiply by six over thirty-five. Now we reduce seven will go into fourteen two times and seven will go into thirty-five five times. Three goes into fifteen five times and three goes into six two times. There are no more common factors. Therefore, we have four over twenty-five. Remember, if you're still having difficulty seeing the numbers to divide out, you can always rewrite these in their prime factorizations, as I'll show up here. So instead of having fourteen fifteenths, we would have two times seven over three times five and we multiply that by the six, which is two times three, and the thirty-five, which is five times seven. And then we would reduce out any common factors. I see that there is a three in the numerator and the denominator, and a seven in the numerator and the denominator, which gets me to four over twenty-five. As you can see, we got the same answer both times. Let's look at example two. Example two is three-tenths divided by six-fifteenths. Remember, when dividing, we always write down the first fraction. We change the division symbol into a multiply, and then we find the reciprocal of the second fraction, which remember means flip it over or invert it. So we'd have fifteen sixths. We now reduce the numerators with the denominators. Three goes into three one time. Three goes into six two times. Five goes into ten two times. And five goes into fifteen three times. We now multiply the numerators together. One times three is three. And two times two is four. This is our answer. Remember once again, you can always find the prime factorization of each of the fractions and reduce in this fashion. After finding the prime factorization, you reduce out the factors that are in both the numerators and the denominators. And you will still get the same answer of six fourths. Sorry, correct that, three-fourths. Sometimes you need to double X out the numbers so you don't get confused which ones you're multiplying. Remember when dividing fractions, you simply turn the division problem into a multiplication problem by inverting or finding the reciprocal of the second fraction. Keep in mind that if you invert the first fraction, you will not get the right answer. So you need to remember you change divide to multiply and you invert the second fraction.